Hello, uh, a few people have come to see me and uh, some people have emailed me saying they've got a blood pressure trace from a Finipress and they are unable to uh, get a good systolic mean, systolic mean, diastolic and of course then mean arterial pressure from this trace. Um, of course I've not shown this in detail, I've uh, implied how it can be done elsewhere but just to make life easy for you guys and it didn't take long for me uh, this is a quick tutorial just to show you how to do that uh, exact operation. We've got a lab chart window here open, uh, and this is um, just a finger pressure trace. In fact, it's quite a long one. If I zoom out, you can see it's uh, a quite a long experiment where the person has been exercising, and then we've uh, ceased exercise, and the blood pressure has dropped back down again here. So it'd be quite valid in this situation to plot um, systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial pressure from this trace. So let's just do that very quickly. We've got setup menu, we go to channel settings, and we add um, a couple of channels. So let's add three channels, and we'll call them cis uh, pressure, diastolic pressure, and then uh, mean arterial pressure. I'll leave all the settings as they are. Let me go over to uh, this, we choose cyclic measurements because we're going to be measuring the uh, blood pressure at the cyclic peak for systolic. Um, here is our blood pressure trace. Um, first thing you do is make sure you're choosing the right channel, which in this case is channel 1, whichever the finger pulse pressure is uh, being measured on. We don't want to do rate, we want to do maximum, and then we want to choose our preset as being finger pulse. You can see it's just dropped off the bottom of the screen, so I'll choose finger pulse there. Uh, and then I need to adjust the detection because you can see at the moment it's not picking up every finger, it's only picking up uh, every fifth or sixth. So I just slide him down so that it picks up all of the uh, finger pulses. Uh, you'll notice that almost in all these tutorials I just kind of slide it down and where hey, it's worked. Um, I've been using the software a long time so I kind of know where it should go, but you should be fairly safe just moving it down to around one to two standard deviations in flexion. Um, any lower than that and you run the risk of picking up some kind of aberrant peaks where there aren't peaks so anywhere between one and two seems to be fairly safe for most settings um, but you need to obviously look through as we're doing here looking through the file and making sure there's no um, extra peaks I'm happy with that and that is the maximum so we'll put that to one decimal place press OK and just check that's worked so how we've we've got systolic trace um, always check these things work, always have a look at them just check they are working, so I'm, I'm going to zoom this out hold my mouse and say yeah it's between 190 and 200 up here the systolic pressure and on here it's the same so I'm happy with systolic now let's do diastolic and mean arterial so I can drop down here now and choose cyclic measurements and now I can choose blood pressure I want to go minimum finger pulse is already set up as default which is uh, convenient um, and I'm going to reduce my peak height just to check that it's picking up the peaks and it's picking up the peaks at 1.2 there is a bug um, I've reported this to AD Instruments and I've said it before in other tutorials uh, if you choose maximum, or sorry minimum in your measurement it seems to put a pulse spot on the maximum uh, let's lower that down to 1 while I'm thinking about it so we've got maximum, you have to go into the customize option and down the bottom trigger minimum and now you see it's listing the diastolic pressure. So you press OK, press OK. Just remember that, customize again, minimum. OK, done. And now we've got our diastolic pressure on the screen. And let's just check that's correct. We've got a slight drop from 130 to 120. It seems to go up a little bit here to 130. And there, the numbers seem to pick up quite nicely. Um, let's just drag that in there and have a little look. Yeah, that looks good and that looks good as well, it seems to be tracking quite nicely um, yep that's all good so I'll leave that as it is and we'll, we'll put them up there just to make life easy now mean arterial pressure as you all know there is a specific equation required for mean arterial pressure, it is not the systolic um, average between the systolic and diastolic, that is definitely not mean arterial pressure however go to cyclic measurements and you can choose here blood pressure and choose this one because of course mean arterial pressure is one third systolic plus two thirds diastolic which corresponds nicely with this equation choose finger pulse zoom in double check, triple check, quadruple check that your single peaks have been seen there we are I can see peaks 
1.5 seems to be about the right place for all of these so we'll leave that as it is and we press OK once we've set our decimal places to 1 and there we are mean arterial pressure now let's just uh, eyeball these and make sure we're correct I'd expect the mean arterial pressure here to be around 150 and the mean arterial pressure here is around 150 so I'm happy with these numbers I can uh, show them on the screen a little bit bigger just so it makes life easy to read and now I've got incidental pulse pressure here for each uh, each beat I've got systolic pressure measured peak to peak diastolic pressure measure measured trough to trough and mean arterial pressure measured continuously beat to beat and if I zoom out here and auto scale these you can see quite nicely that the data set fit with the data set we have um, scale that up so we can actually see it all there we are the data set seem to fit uh, with what we see on the screen where we see a drop we see drops and the mean arterial pressure follows so now you can just use your standard binning technique either by dropping your marker at a time point and counting from it or selecting the points that you've predetermined so select an area here for instance add that to your data pad so we add that to our data pad go to our data pad I'm not quite sure where it'll appear on the screen but let's have a quick look go to our data pad uh, it should be appearing somewhere on the screen there it is and you can see here we've got ignore that one that is not mean pressure but we've got mean systolic mean diastolic and then mean arterial pressure so you can use these numbers then to uh, present your data so I hope I hope that helps that should answer the question that most people had um, as you see it's taken me seven minutes to do it all and I've been waffling so uh, you guys should be able to follow this fairly quickly uh, and get the data you're after okay